Rebound relationships don't work. And in this video, rather than telling you the reasons they don't work, I'm gonna, we're gonna really analyze your, the psychology of your ex. The, you know, why they are starting a relationship so quickly after you guys broke up. It's very important for you to understand the psychology and if you been following my videos, you know that I like to explain things. You're probably eager to learn more about relationship, to learn about psychology. And I want you to be equipped and understand more about those things because that will help you to make the right decision and also to accept and understand for good that this relationship won't work. I'll explain everything after the jingle. I get my ex back .com. Everyone deserves a second chance. Let's have, uh, let's do a sort of an exercise. Let's assume or think that uh, I'm coaching your ex. Uh, they decided to uh, break up with you. And if they want to move on and forget about you and the relationship, I would advise them to date someone new. But, and that's the but, I would tell them to wait a few months. Because the problem is when you start dating someone so early, you're gonna get hurt and you're gonna forget a lot of very important information, a lot of very important, uh, an, an important process of healing, even if you're the dumper, even if you're the dumper, you have to go through that phase. And I'm gonna explain you why it's so important for people to go through that phase and why rebound relationship won't work in that sense. A breakup is an emotional roller coaster. You're probably <laughs> experiencing this right now, but it's the same, it's not the same, but it's, they are going through an emotional roller coaster as well. A different one, maybe with less intensity, but still. Everything is new, they need to readjust, you know? Everyone, again, including the dumper, uh, we're all in rebound mode after a breakup. We want to test things, you know? And first time someone makes you feel good, <laughs> you get attached. And I'm probably, I'm probably sure that you've been in that situation in the past where you uh, got out of a relationship and very quickly you would test, you would try to see whether you still have this attraction power, whether you still uh, get attract people and get people to, you know, to be interested in you. And very quickly you get attached to the first person you meet. And that's the thing, you crave positive feelings, you scan for attention, and most importantly, you do that because you want to ease the pain. It's very unconscious. People would always deny that they're dating a new person because they're suffering from the breakup. <laughs> if you ask them, they would never say like, I'm dating that guy because I don't want to think about my ex. Never ever. They would always confirm and say like, yeah, it's the best person and so on and so forth. I'll explain you why it works. Getting into a rebound is a response to feel an emotional void but it's not an active process to find the right partner. You see the difference between I know what I want, I have had a phase of being on my own, trying to build a fulfilling life and have you know, social support and friends and family and so forth and a career, a business, whatever. And I meet someone that would fit into that life. Versus I just broke up with someone, I feel bad and I would jump next or <laughs> with the, you know, the person I meet for the first time because they tell me I'm great. And I haven't had that attention throughout my, ex my previous relationships. It's very different and the foundations are totally different. Now, your ex will feel better when they go in that relationship. They will feel loved, they will test their attraction, as I said, they will try new things. Because sometimes, you know, I see that, uh, that comments from my clients, you know, I took her for granted, or I took him for granted, and I didn't invest in the relationship. And therefore you lack this novelty, you lack this surprise, you lack the, I, I love you, I care about you, I'm gonna um, buy you a gift or things like that. And so in this new relationship, because any new relationship starts really, really high intensity and passion, because we really want to be, to bring the best of ourselves in the relationship, they will feel like, wow, this is what I was after. This is exactly what I wanted. And they will feel loved, they will feel great about the relationship. Now, <laughs> let them have this relationship. I know it's extremely hard for you to 
understand or to accept. But they, as I said at the beginning of the, the video, relationships don't work. Okay, you can watch hundreds of hours of videos on that, read books, articles, rebound relationships, they don't work. Okay, you need to accept this. Now, now that you've accepted this, what should you do about that? I am strongly against you interrupting that process. Because when you do, you create a wrong image. Rather than being a, uh, a partner or relationship that your partner would be fond of and have nostalgic memory of, right? You'll come across as dependent. You'll come across as annoying. You'll come across as a low value. You know, you're nothing without them. You'll come across as being a drag. These are the best way for your ex to be confirmed in their decision that they made the right decision breaking up with you. This relationship, this rebound relationship won't work <laughs> anyway, but they would not consider you when this relationship fails. So the idea is to accept the fact that this relationship would fail and be in the right position, in the right mindset, in the right, you know, having done the right things and worked on the right things, self-developed in the right area. So when they break up, you're here and you are the obvious option, the only option. Because as I said, the relationship collapses. There's always a stage of comparison. Okay, always, always, always. And we all always compare ourselves to others, consciously, unconsciously. Your ex will do the same, okay? Assuming that you had a strong relationship where you loved and you were, uh, you, uh, you loved each other and you were respectful and you were right to, to them, your ex will realize your qualities. Because the thing is, and we are hardwired the same way, we tend to forget bad memories and keep the good ones. Especially if you haven't been with them, if you haven't been in touch with them, they're having this uh, fling, this affair, this relationship with that person, which, you know, prevents them from thinking about you, distracting them from the relationship. But when the honeymoon phase, um, what I call the fast fading honeymoon effect, because the honeymoon effect is in any relationship, but with a reborn relationship, it goes very, very quickly. Because as you're going into the relationship with the wrong intention, i.e. to ease the pain, to distract yourself, you're going to see the other side of the person quite quickly. <laughs> because the attraction was based on the fallacy. It wasn't based on, you know, I know what I want. It was just based on, oh, I'm going to pick the exact opposite of me. So I'm going to pick the exact person. And when you do that, what do you do? You compare. <laughs> and of course, the person they met they fell in love with will be totally different three to six months after they started the relationship. And this is when they would compare this relationship, this rebound relationship and what you had. And it's essential that when they do, it's obvious you are the only option. And then there's a time to reconnect. There's always a time to reconnect. How to give you, it's very hard for me to give you, yeah, you should go no contact for three months because relationship, you know, rebound relationships, they last six months and three months. It's about, you know, when it's going downhill. I've done, uh, and it's come something new, so uh, I'd be really keen to get your feedback on this. Um, I found a new tool, it's kind of an interactive tool um, where I would guide you uh, through different videos. Um, and Basically, depending on your case, how long the relationship and, and, and the rebound, etc. Whether you should reach out, assess if it's a rebound, understand what you need to do practically. So have a look in the, in the description. I will leave the, the link. Um, it's totally free, but it's really to guide you uh, rather than having a very... Because the problem with the YouTube videos, it's very... Um, it's, it's a linear structure, whereas like here, it's more of a decision tree. Uh, which is a very cool, very interactive. So have a look at it, play with it. Let me know in the comment section how you found it. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to comment and also don't hesitate to click on the like button. It does help me a lot and promote the content as well. Bye.
lit up. Nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer.